start? Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Prime Minister, I welcome the opportunity to meet you here in Brussels. The European Union and Montenegro have special relations. The Union was actively engaged at the rebirth of independent Montenegro. Your country maintains a firm commitment to European integration. And on May the 1st this year, our relations entered a new quality. The Stabilization and Association Agreement entered into force, entailing new obligations and the perspective of new engagement. I, I would like to commend the Prime Minister for the significant progress achieved in the course of European integration. I appreciate this, this government's efforts aimed at state building and the necessary reforms. I would also like to highlight Montenegro's record in inter-ethnic dialogue and cooperation. In many ways, Montenegro serves as an example in the region. I assure the Prime Minister of the Union's full support for the European vision of Montenegro. We agreed that work remains to be done, of course. The Union is keenly interested in the implementation of the reforms. Sustainable progress in the fields related to the rule of law, such as judicial reform, and the fight against corruption and organized crime remain of utmost importance for us. There are no shortcut, shortcuts. The remaining challenges must not be underestimated. We also agreed on the importance of regional cooperation. The integration, the European integration of the Western Balkans must be complemented by vigorous efforts to promote regional cooperation. I praise the leadership of the Prime Minister and his government for assuming important responsibilities, from the Central European Initiative to the Adriatic Ionian Initiative to the Southeast European Cooperation Process. Finally, allow me to say a few words about the regional context. In the last few days, we had a series of positive developments. The outcome of the referendum in Slovenia paved the way for implementing the border arbitration agreement. You had also the Sarajevo Conference of Foreign Ministers. They sent an important message for the European future of the Western Balkans. And constructive dialogue amongst neighbors is picking up momentum. Clearly, the credibility of the European perspective plays an important role in strengthening regional stability. Progress on that road must be, may be performance-based, but when there is performance, there will be progress as well. Montenegro's advancement is a key, is a case in point. The stability and the European integration of the Western Balkans remain centrally important to the European Union. This was my message to the Prime Minister today and to his country and this is the message I intend to deliver to my partners when I visit the region early June and in the autumn. Thank you well, and I hope that Wednesday, one day I can say welcome in the European Union. Thank you. Thank you very much.